everybody and welcome to the Tessuto Brown channel. Um, this is going to be a video about how to record in The Sims 4 with the set camera angles. And I know I've been over this in two other videos. The first one shows you how to change the file itself. And people were complaining that um, the set angles, they wouldn't work unless you had the UI up. But of course I just then made a video that proves that it does work. It's just not the way it's supposed to work not the way we think it should work anyway but uh i think i've come up with a pretty good solution and it's the way that it can be recorded but it takes a little uh changing of the, another file it's just like the, before when we changed the um sims 3 recording file where you can change the quality you're going to be doing the same thing in the sims 4 that way when you use the in-game recorder you're going to have the highest quality that you can get and then you can record without the UI because you once you record with in the in-game recorder it will not record the UI on your videos so what we're going to do is going to change the file and that's going to come up next and it's very easy to find and very easy to change it's a lot more simple than the Sims 3 so it won't be anywhere near as confusing. Actually, all you're doing is copy and pasting anyway. But um, anyway, on to how to edit the file. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you exactly how to edit the uh, recording quality in The Sims 4, just like you did in The Sims 3. If you saw the uh, tutorial that I did for The Sims 3, you'll know how to do this. It's fairly simple. Um, but actually, uh, what I'm going to do it's going to show you the file location first so what you want to do is go to this location here and get your sims3.ini file and then you want to go to this location and get your recording video ini, video recording.ini file and if you don't have it in origins origin games I mean um, it might be under Electronic Arts. It should be under Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and the same thing. So the only thing you're going to want to change is the uh, Origin Games to Electronic Arts. But once you have them open, you'll see that they're similar. This is your recording video, vi video recording.ini file, and this is The Sims 3. What you want to do is this section here, you want to copy basically over to this section. As you can see, the max quality has the same properties on both sides and the large and medium and small settings by default are uh, the 1024 and 640 and the 320 so what I want to do is I'm going to highlight this section over here hit control C to copy and then highlight this section over here and hit control V to paste it now I'm going to undo this right quick because actually what I want to do is I want to make a backup copy of this file. That way in case anything goes wrong, I can go ahead and put the video recording file back the way that I wanted it without having any trouble. So I'm just going to hit uh, Control Z, hit this video, uh, save as, and I'm going to put it in my backup folder, which is not a bad idea for you guys to have a backup folder and uh yeah and put it somewhere where um it's not going to interfere with the game itself so i'm going to redo this and then hit save so now my video quality should be up higher than it was in the um original settings obviously Alright, so one of the main reasons we want to change the uh, video recording INI file to the settings that we had before is to have the higher quality. Because a lot of us are having trouble with the set uh, angles recording thing. Such as we get this, the little barrel roll issue. And it doesn't happen with every angle, but it happens with some of them. And that is a big issue for us who like to record in high quality. And we can't do it because the game is messed up. So when we have the 
video recording i9 file up to the correct settings that we want to record as we can have higher quality that way we, when we go to record in live mode with the ui up it does not have all those extra spins and we can still record because the high quality is up and it won't record the actual user input so that is a reason why we want to change the INI file so yeah I hope this video helped you guys in some way or another and don't forget just change your INI file and record with the in-game recorder instead of something like fraps or whatever in order to get your camera angles that way you don't won't have to worry about the um, UI being in the way. Also, if you have a problem with the, the um, setting the camera angles with the UI on, you can always go to the tab mode and preset your uh, camera angles. And still, it will work with the UI on. Same angles. So. That being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook and all that if you would like to. And be updated whenever I am around to update those websites. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.